Howdy YouTubers and welcome back. Today, just out of curiosity, I'm going to put my Renergy Lithium Ion Phosphate 50 amp hour battery on a capacity test. Um, I've had this for over a year now. Hasn't had a lot of usage. I've probably only cycled it a handful of times since I've had it. Um, yeah, so I'd imagine that I've still got a lot of its capacity left. I did do a capacity test when I first got it and it did just pass the 50 amp hours. So this is a year later, a couple cycles later. I thought it would be interesting to see how much dis um, percentage it's, it has lost. I bought this from eBay a little over a year ago now for $255 on sale so it was, yeah, it was a huge sale on around that time and I thought why not, um, yeah I might put it to use one day soon, uh, put it in a little test station or something just to yeah, do a few tests on it, I might do a um, a stress test and maybe even open it up and see what's inside if um, there's enough interest in me doing that yeah I've just chucked a couple um, XT60s on there just for a bit of um, yeah I can plug in power um, sockets or just smaller um, rated stuff to it I could run little USB um, plugs and all that type of stuff so yeah I thought it would be interesting to chuck this on and and see what we get out of it just a small example what I use the XT60 for um, yeah I've pretty much got a lot of my other sm smaller drawer bits and pieces like um, little converters, buck converters, um, step up converters I can just plug straight in and uh, I can plug in cigarette lighter adapters so I can, from there I can run all sorts of things from uh, little kettles and uh, USB drives different 12 volt chargers also got this little watt meter that I've hooked up with the XT60s as well so when I am charging or or running my the kettles or other little appliances I can yeah I can chuck it in tuck this on and see how much energy is it's drawing just out of curiosity really I, I would I know that these I'm pretty sure these are rated for 30 amps and with the cables that I've got you know, you probably wouldn't want to push more than really 150, 200 watts. I've done 200 watts on these cables here, and they do get a little bit warm, but they do handle it okay. I've had um, 200 watts running through these for a good couple hours, and they they don't get any hotter than than just warm to the touch. Yeah, probably ideally I should be putting a um, a fuse on these. It might be something I'll do later on if I end up using this a bit more regularly. Okay, guys, this thing's topped up now. It's um, I'll put a, a post up on a picture up on the screen. It says two thousand cycles at eighty percent discharge. So we should still get pretty close to the 50 amp hours in this battery I haven't really I probably only like I said probably only used it a few times discharged it a couple times so yeah it'd be interesting to see I will get this um, capacity tester reset and then we're good to go plug it in I'm not one-handed here. Just using the XT60 connections. So I only I only pull probably 10 amps on this test. So these um, cables should be fine. Just 
10. Yep, there you go. All right, let's see how well this runs. It'll be interesting to see. I'll update you later. Bye. Yeah, good morning, guys. This is the test results. So, 573 watt hours at 46.18 amp hours. So, yeah, the battery is 4 amp hours less than when I first originally brought it. I thought that would be of interest to you. And thank you for watching.